I've always been really passionate about technology. It's really fulfilling to work at an organization like Intellis and see the impact that uh, new technology has on our clients. Intellis was founded in 2011 in the UK. So it's a networking focused business, really good skills in, in that space with five silos that we, we kind of focus on, which is routing, switching, wireless, security, voice. And security kind of encompasses all of those networking requirements that customers have. I've worked at one of the largest service providers in the country previously. And when I was there, I could see the increased demand for cloud applications and realized that clients were going to need to reinvent their, their wide area networks uh, to be able to consume these applications. And SD-WAN, the next generation technology, is perfectly positioned to help clients achieve that. And hence, uh, you know, we stepped out and, and started this uh, SD-WAN focused business. SD-WAN is a brilliant technology that enables clients to allow their branches to connect seamlessly to the cloud from wherever they are. Legacy MPLS networks offer limited visibility and control. They don't scale effectively and they're built with localized integration in mind. Clients now who are moving to the cloud and consuming cloud applications require global integration. And SD-WAN technologies or next generation technologies like SD-WAN are built with global integration in mind and are aligned with major vendors like Microsoft, Google, Amazon. Cloud adoption enables branches to, to break out locally right at the branch level and get the best possible experience when they consume that cloud product. And with a technology like SD-WAN, allowing you to seamlessly configure all of your branches from a single pane of glass, it just makes sense to have that breakout locally. So at Intellis, we've developed quite a mature approach. Typically, when we work with our clients, we take the existing investments into account and then come up with the most suitable solution to meet their business requirements. A very important part of that is the feasibility phase. That really involves building the business case to ideally make this project self-funding. So you've got to get your business to understand that this is a strategic shift and investment in your network, and this is about future-proofing your WAN. And really, it's about flexibility, visibility, agility, and control. So when we work with our clients, we typically find their teams are limited. We see them battle with end evaluation. There are a lot of SD-WAN vendors out there and you know, which is the right vendor to fit your, your requirements. The second major challenge is, is how do we sell this to the business? So how do we go build what we call an SD-WAN ROI? It's a large cost and we need to make sure we position it correctly in the business to be able to get go ahead on these projects and make sure the business understands you know, the value of what we're investing in here. Taking control back of the WAN gives a client tremendous power in terms of the flexibility that they get, in terms of not being just locked into a single service provider and the products that that service provider can offer him. But it does come with some challenges. The first challenge would be, how do I actually support and roll out this network? How do I migrate from my existing network to this new SD-WAN enabled network? What are the security considerations in that, around that? How am I going to secure that network? We have a team of certified engineers that are experienced in transitioning and delivering these networks. We're vendor agnostic, which is quite important, so we're not limited to one vendor. From a commercial perspective, we also offer flexibility around consumption. We offer this as a service, and the services are consumed on a monthly basis. You get the best of both worlds. You get a more application, orientated, user-rich experience from deploying your SD-WAN network, but at the same time, you can outsource the operating part of that network to your managed service provider like, like ourselves without actually increasing your, your staff complement. We're really fortunate to have a, a great team of engineers, solution architects, and project managers, but that's not why our clients buy from us. Our clients buy from us because we deliver a result, uh, and the results that we deliver is where they see value.